When you go to export a file, you often want to resize, but there's more than one way to do this. Let's talk about some strategies for exporting to a specific dimension, how to get the best results. So in this case, let's take this photo. We'll go ahead and switch to the develop module and crop. You see that it's currently got a crop of 16 by nine. Yours may be slightly different, but crop to the target size and press return. Now, when you go to the export dialog, I want you to pay attention to a couple of key features. You'll notice here image size. In the resize option, there are several choices. You could resize to specific dimensions or put a not to exceed size for the long edge or the short edge. You can also target a megapixel count or a percentage. If I'm just doing a quick resize for social media, a lot of times the social media application is going to resize that image anyways. So rather than sizing to a specific size, I just want to get the file size down a little bit to speed up the uploads. Plus, I'm not always comfortable sharing full quality, full resolution images to social media companies. So I'm going to reduce these. By going here to the option, I could choose percentage and you'll get the best results by going with something simple, 50% or 25%. In other words, cutting it in half or cutting it in half twice. This simple scale is going to give you a nice clean resize. So I'll type that in a 50%. Additionally, when you do that, I would suggest a little bit of sharpening. So if you're going to the screen in this case, sharpen for the screen. Standard amount is usually enough. You don't typically need to go with high. When you're all set, then click the export button and you could generate that file. It'll export it at the correct target and with that smaller size. Remember, taking the time to do this is going to allow you to reduce the file size without seeing a loss of quality. This is going to allow you to shrink the dimensions down for the image and still keep the image nice and crisp. But what happens if you want to get a smaller file? Maybe you're looking to attach it to email. Well, we'll talk about that next.